Okay, we're going to talk about special products now. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these two first, and then we'll get to this one. And this one to me is a little more special, and I'll explain in a minute. These two special products right here are what we call the binomial squared. So here we have something that looks like a plus b squared. And the trick is that all you have to do is square the first term, multiply two times the first two terms, which are a and b, and then square the second term. Now this is assuming that all of this is positive. So here's an example, x plus 6 squared. All right, so in this case, x is our a and b is our 6. All right, so I'm just going to plug this in normally. And then from here on out, we can really just do this in our head. So let's take a look at this, okay? I have x squared, that fits my a squared condition, plus 2 times x times 6 plus 6 squared, okay? Now simplifying that, I get x squared plus 2 times x times 6 is 12x plus 36. So if I square this binomial, I can automatically say, oh, it's just x squared plus 12x plus 36. That's the trick. This is the case where you have positive terms here. Okay, now let's take a look at the next one, a minus b squared. We have a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So it's almost exactly the same. What this does is it accounts for a negative term here on your b. All right, so we're going to follow the same pattern that we did for the first example. And here's what it is. You're going to have x squared minus 2 times x times 6 plus negative 6 squared. Well, this simplifies again x squared, in this case minus 12x, but it's still plus 36. Because in this case, when you square negative 6, remember a negative times a negative is, that's right, a positive. So x squared minus 12x plus 36 is the binomial expansion of this. So this is the binomial squared. So these are binomial squares and they are considered what we call special products. Now the next one I would say is probably near and dear to my heart. So in case you haven't heard, my favorite candy is called dots. So what does dots mean in this class though? In this class, dots means a difference of two squares. Okay, so look at this. We've got a plus b times a minus b. We are basically, you know, we could kind of say we're squaring the same thing. You know, something similar to one of these two special products. But in this case, there's a difference. The difference is that we have a plus b and a minus b. So here's what the difference of two squares looks like. The trick for this, if you were to do the FOIL, and I'm just going to go ahead and do that just to prove a point here. So let's go ahead and do the FOIL method. a times a, a squared, a times minus b, minus ab. All right, now the inside b times a gives us plus ab and last we get b times negative b which is minus b squared. So let's see what happens with the minus ab and the plus ab. They cancel leaving us with a squared minus b squared. So let's take a look at that. We have two numbers. They are being squared each of them and then they're being subtracted. Well, wait a minute, subtraction. Doesn't subtraction mean difference? Exactly. So this is where the name comes from, a difference of two squares. You're squaring two numbers and then you're subtracting them. Hence, the difference between two squares. So the difference of two squares, or dots, as I'm going to call it here in the class. So let's take a look at our example. Here's A, here's B. So the trick here, is just square the first number, you square the second number, and let me write that out real quick, erase that. Square the second number and then subtract. So my result here is x squared minus 36. Okay, so there you have it, the case of three special products. There's plenty more, but uh, these are really basic and really you should have these memorized um, 
because they're very important and, and they'll get you through some of the algebra. And this really helps, especially when you move on to calculus, because this will help simplify things um, as you move along. So here you go, special products.